My name is Christopher and I work at the Ann Arbor District Library. As part of Japan Week celebrations, we wanted to give an introduction to gyotaku, a traditional form of Japanese printing that uses fish. Now, if you don't have any real fish on hand, you can use some artificial ones. You can go to an art supply store and pick up something that looks like this. This is a fish that we use in our real in-person gyotaku programs at the library. You can see it has a lot of detail with all the scales and the fins. We're going to be transferring all that detail to the paper in just a minute. Here's another fish and you can see that it has much different texture that we're going to use to print with. Ow! No biting. Let's head on over to the art table and see what we can figure out together. I think this is a flounder. It's a flat fish. And these fish from the art supply store come with a flat bottom and all the texture and pattern are on the front. So what we are going to do is lay our fish down like this. We're going to put some paint, some ink on it, and then we're going to try to carefully press our washi paper onto that surface. And if we put just the right amount of ink on, it will hopefully work. Too much ink and we'll lose the detail. Too little and the impression won't show up. It takes a little bit of practice. Let's give it a try. I've tried this in the past with acrylic paint and it doesn't work as well. It's too gloppy and also makes the fish really hard to clean. I really recommend block printing ink for the best impression. Normally you would use a paintbrush with these fish, but I'm just using a cheap sponge brush because that's what I had around the house. I'm also using Japanese washi paper, which is really strong. Washi paper has two different sides, one smooth and one rough. I'm pressing the rough side down into the fish to absorb the ink. And here we go. Wow, this came out really well. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed Japan Week at the Ann Arbor District Library.